Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a transducer into your John boat without having to drill any holes. And we're also going to be unboxing this Garmin Striker 4. It's a three and a half inch fish finder with a built in GPS. And we've been wanting to add this to our boat for the longest time. That way we can be able to see the fish around us whenever we go into these deep lakes and be able to find structure. And I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to our John boat. So here are all the items you're going to be needing for this project. So first up, you're gonna need your fish finder. It doesn't have to be necessarily this one, but any will work. You're gonna need this Plano dry box. A small battery here, we got this one from Amazon, and it's a 12 volt, nine amp battery. You're gonna need a piece of starboard, some marine silicone, some cable ties, and these mounting bases for those cable ties, and these female disconnectors in order to connect the battery to the GPS. Now we're going to be unboxing the Garmin Striker 4. So here's the transducer and the transducer cable. This is the mount for the transducer. We're going to be attaching this to the starboard and the transducer right here. This is the power cable. We attach this here to the GPS unit and these cables we're going to be attaching to the battery. This is the GPS unit. This is the mount for the GPS unit and these are some screws that come with the GPS. We're going to be getting this wire here and we're going to be attaching it to this female disconnect. That way we can attach it here to our battery. So we're going to get our cable and put inside the female disconnect. And we're going to crimp it down. Then we're going to go right behind it where we crimped. And we're going to crimp it again. Always good to double crimp it. Now that we have our two here. We can easily attach them here to our battery. We're going to be using this Plano box to be storing all our extra cables and our battery. So we just got our battery here, put inside here, and we put in all our connections, all our cables, even our extra transducer cables. We're going to be storing it inside of here, this box, and we're going to close it up and make some little cuts here so that way we could stick our cables inside. So here we're going to be drilling into the Plano dry box so we could run the cable from the GPS to the battery we're going to be keeping inside. Now we put the battery inside, we put all the cable in here, stick the cable through the hole. Close up the box and run the cable straight into GPS like that. Now we're going to be figuring out where we're going to put the transducer in the back of the John boat. So we know we're going to be putting the fish finder on this side of the boat. So we want the transducer as close as possible. So we're going to put it more or less right here. We're going to figure out what size we're going to cut this piece of starboard to in order to put the transducer right on top of it because we don't want to drill holes directly into the boat. So essentially what we're going to be doing is have this piece of starboard with some marine silicone attached to the back of the boat. And once we have it like that, we're going to get the transducer mount and drill it straight into the starboard. We'll
So we're taking this here mount uh, from the GPS and we're going to be attaching it to a starboard here. And this starboard we're going to be using Velcro underneath to attach it to the John Boat seat. Now we're getting this Velcro. We're going to peel it off, put it right on top of the starboard. This is heavy duty outdoor Velcro. You got to make sure that this is heavy duty Velcro, otherwise it'll unstick and it won't last very long. So once we decide where we're going to put our fish finder, we're going to uh, put the Velcro down here. Have our other uh, piece right here, put it on and slide it. All right guys, we're here back a few days later. We let the silicone dry on the starboard so that way it could be nice and tight before we put on the next piece. Ideally, we would have liked a half inch starboard piece, but we only have one fourth inch. So that's what we got to work with. We're gonna be double stacking these pieces together and we're gonna secure the two pieces using silicone and four stainless steel screws. I'd like to also add that we use some Loctite waterproof glue in addition to the marine silicone in order to have a much stronger hold. To top it off, we lined the edges of the starboard with black waterproof silicone. That way we can cover all the crevices and make sure water doesn't get in. After we finished that, we added the transducer, drilled it in, and we were done. We're going to be running the cables through these tie strap connectors and we ran the cable through the bench, came out here the other side, and we're gonna line them up with these connectors. We're out here on the boat, transducers working perfect, got a battery box over there, cable running out to the back, everything's working good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and found the information to be useful. We're looking forward to using this fish finder in our future videos because summer is finally here. And now Ryan and I are going to be able to do a lot more fishing. So stay tuned for our future videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.